It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastsofwar.com. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastsofwar.com. Hey guys, welcome to another What's in the Box. I'm joined by Brian from Anarchy Models yet again. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at a Sparmax Arism. Arism? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Whatever, it's that word on the box. <laughs> yeah. We're going to say Arism. Arism, right. Ar Arism yeah. Mini Air Compressor. Uh, so we've not done reviews like this before where we've reviewed equipment. So no? this is a bit of a learning experience for me. Um, we should just open it. Yep, let's go for it. We should definitely just open it. So it's pretty small. It is. Um, it's probably it's going to be even smaller because uh, there's a lot of other stuff in here. Yeah. Okay. So in here we have some hose, the braided hose. Yep. Like that. Mm -hmm. And we have some destructions. <laughs> I'll just break the braided hose open. Yeah. So move that box out of the way. Because I think what we're going to end up doing on this is we're just going to plug the thing in and we're going to see what the air pressure is like, we'll see what the noise is like. Yeah. I think that's a fair way to do it. Yeah. But it is small. It is very small. Look at that. It's, uh, uh, looking at the box, it's half the size I expected it to be. <laughs> um, let's uh, <laughs> check that under the, under the close cam. It is a tiny little thing. Yeah, it's a little compressor. In sky blue. <laughs> in sky blue. <laughs> so both the, the box says colour sky blue, so you presumably you can get it in options. Yeah. Uh, so this I is a metal case, mm -hmm. um, which is interesting. I thought it was going to be plastic. It's quite sturdy. Yeah, seems to be. Have we got pressure settings there? Uh, we seem to have uh, uh, numbered settings here. There's no actual uh, gauge. There's an actual gauge on there to tell you exactly what pressure you're at. So mm -hmm. you will be estimating what your pressure is um, and according to the literature the maximum output is 45 psi mm -hmm. which uh, some of the more expensive compressors can go higher which yeah. gives you a bigger spray pattern um, so you can spray larger items mm -hmm. um, so let's plug it in and uh, yeah, we'll plug it in I'll see what happens give you one end of those yep uh, that's interesting. It's the same end, same size both ends. Yep. So we'll have to take an adapter off one of our brushes. I'll take uh, that one. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Okay, that's on. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay. So let's plug it in. I'm actually, st I'm still rather surprised at how small it is. Yeah. I did think it was going to be bigger. Now obviously, we're not going to have any sort of storage built into this. There won't be any little sort of compressor tank or anything. I don't think so. Um, there doesn't appear to be a tank in there. No. We might have had a, they wouldn't fit a tank worth having in there <laughs> along with an actual compressor. Yeah. I mean, the, the tank on my compressor is bigger than this. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so turn it on. Yeah. So it's uh, that's quiet enough. It's not. It's not too loud. No. Um, you know. So it was, it's obviously going to build to a pressure and stop. Uh, or is it? I would assume. I haven't checked. If it's got an auto shut off, we'll soon find out. <laughs> We're just going to sit and look awkward until it does something. I wonder if it's actually at maximum pressure or something like that. The pressure is quite low mm -hmm. uh, on setting two. As we turn the pressure up, we can hear the noise of the compressor changes. Yeah. It's still quite low. Um, exactly what PSI that is, we, we, it's hard we, to tell. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, there's, there's no gauge on there. Um, but that's, that's enough to make the airbrush work. Yeah. Um, some cheap compressors, it just goes down so low um, yeah. once it's running that um, it just doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Um, so obviously this brush is running, this, this compressor is running constantly, it's not yeah. got an auto shut off. Yeah, it doesn't appear to have an auto shut off. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so you'd have to turn it off, ideally, when you're not actually using it to save on engine wear and stuff. Yep. So is there... Well, we'll switch it off now, sure we... There we go. <laughs> can hear now. Can hear again. So is there anything we would need to add to this? Um, it doesn't appear to have a moisture trap, mm -hmm. uh, which means you would ha have to have one on the brush. Yeah. So you would have one on the hose, the coast camera, something like this, which is a, a pistol grip moisture trap. Yeah. Um, if you don't have that, you'll end up having moisture out of the air, mm -hmm. gets condensed in the hose and comes out and, and hits your model and makes the paint run. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, normally I would have, if one has on the compressor, I'd still have one on the hose. Yeah. Um, but as this doesn't have one, you definitely need one of these. Um, it's uh, well worth it. Yeah. Uh, is there any sort of air regulators maybe uh, you put on or? You can buy separate regulators, but whether they're going to fit this fitting or not mm -hmm. is another matter. Yeah. Um, you might be able to find adapters to make it fit, um, so you can so you can see the pressure on a gauge. Mm -hmm. I mean, this thing here is a regulator, um, but you, you don't. It's hard to know exactly what the pressure is. Yeah. Um, so maybe a little pressure gauge. <laughs> yeah, it might be handy. Um, but as I say, it's whether you can find one for that fitting. Mm -hmm. Normally, the fitting on a compressor is larger than this, um, and then steps down. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. But all in all, what, what are our opinions? Um, it, it works out the box, which is a good <laughs> one. Some, some really cheap ones don't. Yeah. Um, it, it, the pressure does seem reasonably low, mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's tricky to know exactly how well it performs. Um, I mean, obviously its uses are, it's a portable device. Yeah, very portable, mm -hmm. um, very small and compact. So if you're if you're going to a show and you need something, if you can't take a bigger compressor, yeah, you, this might be, be the be option. Yeah, be, uh, be an option. Mm -hmm. um, with compressors, before I'd give an actual opinion of whether I like it or not, I'd I'd want to use it for a good length of time. Yeah, I have had one before that just burnt out mm -hmm. um, and was dead. So, um, but uh, no, it seems to work at the moment. Yeah. Well, we'll pass it over to the community. If any of you guys are using compressors this size or ones that don't have automatic shut off. Let us know what you think. Um, is the noise a problem? Is maybe does the compressors heat up a lot? It obviously yeah. would heat up quite yeah. a lot. Yeah, compressors generally get hot. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, the instructions give you a a, a work period time. Mm -hmm. If it does, stick to that. If it says it only you only want to use it for twenty minutes, do stick to that. Yeah, especially as it's running the entire time. Um, but if anyone's had one for quite a while uh, and is is happy with it or is not happy with it. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, then drop us a message in the comments. Fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a Warcaster. Take control of the mighty Jax, arcane devices, and dark sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Venture into the dangerous dungeons of myth as a mighty hero and stand against the darkness. Visit the Myth Hub on BeastsOfWar.com and begin your story.